Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to Geoguessr. We are doing a diverse world today, it's a map by mapper. And we have, uh, I want to say Romanian poles? It's, it's going to be Europe. We also have bollards, but bollards I'm not so great at yet. Although, I feel like with the orange and the telephone pole, that's actually the weirdest telephone pole I think I've ever seen in my life. And that is definitely not Romania. It's definitely not Romania. I don't think I've actually ever seen something that looks like this. Interesting. So we're going to have a new telephone pole. Poles that have these usually end up being, like, the Baltic areas. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up being in the Baltics here. I don't know, man. Those are just different. They're they're a lot different from what I'm used to seeing. We do have these curves, though, and I think that does put us over in Latvia, Lithuania. I'm pretty sure it does, at least. God, we also have the dirt gravel road. We know it's probably going to be Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe is going to be the best choice we have. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen or recognized these poles. But these with the rounded, it's either Lithu Lithuania or Latvia. And for some reason, the fact that I'm guessing Latvia means it's Lithuania. Oh god. Can we find language? Maybe. Can we find a town name? Hopefully. Uh, road number? Unlikely. The fact that it's a dirt road instead of paved might mean that we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. I feel like this might be a country road. If this is an official road, I'm wrong. I don't think it's official though. I really, yeah, there's something there, man. We do find a lot of dirt and gravel roads in the Baltic area. So maybe, maybe it's not so uncommon. If I knew more about bollards, that would help us. And the bollards are the reflector poles. If I knew more about these weird fucking telephone poles, these ones look more Lithuanian. Maybe. But there's nothing else around us. We do have some architecture, but I'm not so great at looking at architecture and telling you where we are. The only reason we're doing as well as we are in the country streak is because of you guys, not because of me. Uh, it does look like we do have a, a sign. It is nice and blurred. Molet, Moletai is 18 to our east. It's definitely not Estonia. And then Anya Sik is 14 or 24? 24. 24. But uh, we can't get a good view. Hopefully there's another one over here. We have Dapu Nisiki. But that U, that U with the line, I'm pretty sure, is uh, Latvia. Uh, and it ends up being Lithuania. So it ends up being a lot further south. Here's Anya Sikai, which we didn't actually get to see fully. Uh, and I don't really see any of the other signs. This one definitely stands out. And we would have been able to see that from a distance if we were able to see it uh, completely. But we uh, we struggled there. However, we, we do have a pretty close score with Beerlingo. So that's, I guess, some good news. Uh, sun to the north, white, white, and white. Here's another reflector pole, Bollard. I think, though, there's a green sign right here. Mm, there's not. Uh, but it does say Cleve Scenic Drive to Port Lincoln. I'm thinking we're in Australia. My only other concern would be New Zealand. Which I was hoping this was going to be the way we figured it out. Uh, Franklin Harbor Hotel. Not too helpful. The lack of yellow divider lines, I think it's rid of New Zealand. So it, it probably is Australia. Avoid using noisy exhaust brakes in townships. Alright, what if I have to, uh, drink driving? Grow up? Isn't it drunk driving? I feel like you would see that in Australia and not in South Africa. I also feel like Australia, they get kangaroos drunk and fight them. It's just, there's no reason to believe that. I just think it's fucking hilarious. But, there are some weird laws all over the world, right? We know this. Uh, one of my favorite weird laws is Alaska, where it is illegal to get a moose, yep, a moose, drunk and shove the drunken moose out of a moving airplane. 
I by far think that is the greatest drunk law that anyone ever did. Uh, and you know for a fact that somebody did that, right? So, Cowell welcomes you. Heritage Building, Mangrove Walk, Historical Museum. Population 1070, established in 1880. Uh, I wish it told us a little bit more about Cowell. But you know somebody had to get a moose drunk and then shove said moose out of a moving airplane for the cops to be like, hey guys, let's not do that ever again. Who do you think does that? Welcome to Catsville. Oh God, we got nothing. We do have a town name, but we don't have the region. I think it's Eastern Australia. I really do, but I have no reason to go anywhere else. We do have Gen 2 coverage. It doesn't feel like South Africa. And now we're back to Gen 3. I don't know where else it could be. And now we're on Gen 2. So one side of the road is Gen 2 and the other side of the road is Gen 3. That's convenient. That says Town Center Port Augusta. Which... Oh, fuck. Isn't that down here? Fuck. I don't know where Port Augusta is. Port Douglas... For some reason, watch it be South Africa. Watch it be South Africa. It says B100. Uh, and it ends up being Eastern, South Australia. Here's Port Augusta. Uh, which we probably would have seen, but I think we started here and went this way. Uh, so we just had bad luck there. We just had bad luck. Uh, this is going to be South Africa. Or another one of those places. Uh, East Watini, Lesotho, like that. Uh, we do have the sun to our north. We do have a bunch of names. Nigel, Devon, Balfour. I don't know anything about Lesotho's town names, and I don't know anything about East Watini's town names. But luckily, it doesn't look like it matters. R550, R48. Can we? Here's 75. 338, 339, 341, 323, 324, 400s, where are the 5s? Here are the 3s, 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 more 3s, so I guess we're going to be in the northeast. 5, 553, 500, we need 550 and 548, here's 549. Here's 550. Devon is right here. That should be to our north. Here's 448. So we're in between Devon and Balfour and Nigel. And here's Nigel. So we should be kind of over here. Even though 550 is over here. Where else does 550 go? Does this turn into 550? No. So what if we're closer to here? That would probably make sense. And then it doesn't give us any distances. Uh, and we are able to kind of get decent coverage. And that just says R48, but I think that's just a fuck up on the picture. But no distances. No distances at all, but we know we're going to be in South Africa. We know we're in a general spot in South Africa. The, uh, the tilted camera, though, not so great. Not going to lie. Hmm. We are heading north, so we should find Devon. And depending on how long it takes us to get to Devon, uh, we might want to move our guess. Uh, but we do get different coverage now, and it does seem a little bit better. It's not as tilted. However, Devon might be a lot further north than I wanted to guess. We are kind of heading like northeast, too. So we might be a little bit further down here. Then we'd be going this way. Or we could be over here a little bit more. One of these-ish areas. I think we have a pretty good guess. I don't think it's going to be bad. I don't think we're going to get a perfect score, though. We know we're in between two places. We know we have another place that's kind of to our west. But we got to be close enough to the road. Uh, and it ends up being four miles further south. So we started up here. And it just ends up being further south. I think Beerling is going to have this one. He got Australia, right? Uh, we do have red and white. 
on the curbs. A pretty fancy building with a bunch of different flags. And we do have what appears to be, I was going to say Cambodia, which I think this does fit. Yellow license plates right hand side though. License plates, not our friend. Not yet at least. Uh, but that's the flag of Laos, so I guess it makes sense to guess Laos. Now with all those flags, I feel like we have to be near a border. For no apparent reason. For no apparent reason. Uh, and then all the flags are down. This feels like a fancy palace. Maybe it's government building. The People Security Museum. So there you go. So if we could find the People Security Museum, which for some reason I want to think is the team, uh, we'll be fine if we can actually find it. Uh, border crossing, we might not actually be near border crossing since it is a museum. But I feel like it gives us a better chance if we're near the border. Department of AF, uh, College of National Defense, not seeing a lot of museums. Seeing a lot of temples. And the Batman pub. And the Batman pub. But not really any museums. Which I'm actually surprised about. Meanwhile, these these could be museums. And because they're just in their language. Uh, we're not getting it. We're not understanding it. I can see that being a thing. Uh, some of them do have translations. Others don't. So I wouldn't be surprised if we do end up at a place that doesn't have a translation on it. Or if it's just called something different. Or if we're not in the capital. How would we figure out if we were in the capital? I feel like it's pretty open. I feel like there's plenty of buildings. State housing? Hopefully one of the signs says, like, Vientiane on it. But I I wouldn't be surprised if we don't find anything. I really wouldn't. I'm pretty confident it is Laos. So there's that. It's just, where in Laos are we? I feel like that would be important. The gold leaf kind of style, which is probably just shiny brass. Showing off wealth. I feel like that's a capital kind of thing. Kind of like the capital of North Korea, right? Like they're gonna they're gonna showcase all the wealth in that one city. Not finding anything, uh, even as we expire. That's a weird phone number, and it does end up being uh, via team. And Beerlingwood does get a perfect score. We just here's the People's Public Security Museum. We probably weren't that far in. So we got the we got the city right. We just didn't get the spot right. Just didn't get the spot right. They have a Texas chicken restaurant. Oh god, who do we send from Texas to go try it out? Uh, and then round five of five. We do have a roof rack. We don't have any tape. We have a black car. I feel like this is going to be Guatemala. For no apparent reason. I feel like it's going to be Guatemala. Now, Guatemala doesn't have a lot of coverage. At all. Uh, it's a rather small country. Even if the entire country was covered... Isn't it like, let's see, here's Guatemala. It's about the size of Vermont or New Hampshire, it looks like. And maybe I'm just judging that wrong. And that's that's part of the smaller end of states, the United States. Uh, and what is it? It's like 40% or something like that is just jungle. So the amount of coverage would even be more limited. Maybe closer to the side of Massachusetts, Connecticut. Uh, we could probably guess down by Guatemala, Guatemala, although I don't think this is Guatemala, Guatemala. If we could find language like that, just a supermarket, not helpful. We do have the ATM and the banks. We do have US-ish style plates. And that might not be Spanish. That looks Dutch, which would put us in South Africa. Really? But it's a black car. Where's the sun? The sun's to our south, so it's in the north. Let me redo that. Sun's in the south, so we're in the north. It's gotta be. It's gotta be Guatemala. 
anti-theft specialties, and then it's in English. No. No. There's no way. Sunita Bonacas. And it has a phone number set up like the United States. But we're finding what looks like Dutch. I know sometimes language is not my strong suit. Sometimes I'm, I'm able to figure it out. I really hope that wasn't Dutch. Uh, we are on the right hand side, so it's not South Africa. Confirmed. It's got to be Guatemala. It's got to be. The police of Montana. Is there a place in Guatemala called Montana? Uh, we don't want to go too far north because that's where the jungle just takes over. Again, I don't think it's Guatemala, Guatemala. But I don't know where else to guess. I don't know where else to guess. Let's go over by the democracy, maybe? To serve and protect, that's what that is. Oh, God. It took us way too long to figure out. Curacao? No. No. That's why. That's why. It makes all the fucking sense why we saw a Dutch. We're in Curacao. Really? And here's Montana. It makes sense! Guys, it clicked when we saw Mon when we saw fucking Curacao Lottery. Dutch roof rack, Northern Hemisphere's Curacao. Alright. Alright. We had to be spoon fed it. But we got it. We we fucked up in Australia. That's what it comes down to. Uh, Beerlingo is coming in first place at 24-3, with Taurus only about 500 points behind at 23-8. Martin in third at 23-3, Scribbles in fourth at 22-3. Uh, we came in at 21-2. Hmm, 59 coming in sixth at 20,600-ish. Uh, Cedric at 20,200. Bentley Aaron at 18-5. 11th of turnaround at 18-4. And Bo at 12-2. Australia looks like it screwed up a lot of people. Uh, we did find a name towards the end. We just were not able to uh, to throw it down in the right spot. It looks like Taurus and Beerling have got pretty good scores on it, though. Uh, but we do have a pro league to do. We have the stay-at-home league. Now, this by the time this video goes up, it this should have ended. Um, I don't know what world league map is going to be on here. If you guys have not played this map yet, now is your chance to take it break pause the video go play it if it's still up it takes like eight minutes uh but hopefully we time this correctly where you don't have to worry about using this video to cheat uh but we have a minute and 20 seconds a minute and 20 seconds coastal world this is a map by mapper feels like we have a japanese camera uh water to our east can we find a phone number it is japan phone number please phone number please if we don't find a phone number, that will be really upsetting. We learn phone numbers for a reason, guys. And if we can't use them, let's real quick, just so we have it. We know we're on the eastern coast, so we'll go over by Sendai. Uh, can we find a phone number? It kind of feels Northern Ireland-ish, doesn't it? So I wouldn't be surprised if we find a 011 to 018. Uh, again, no phone numbers. Left hand side just goes to confirm it. Yellow license plates, another just confirmation. Here is the main town. The surf school, Japan. Japanese authentic custom surfboards, but no phone number. And a 047, which actually puts us outskirts of Tokyo. So we should be down here more. Based on the phone number. That's just based on a phone number. Uh, 047, it might not be where we have it. It might be up a little bit more. But uh, this is the general region the 047 should be. Uh, and we actually, we end up being 12 miles up. From a phone number. From a fucking phone number. I think that's really good. We have a chance now to come in first place for the day. On a coastal world. What are the odds? Uh, looks like low camera again, and looks like we're on the left-hand side again. However, no, it is Japan again. I don't see Korean, so we're Japan again. Uh, I kind of want to return to start and go the other way. 
I feel like this way might lead us towards a, a phone number better than the other way. Uh, maybe not. Uh, we are on the, the western coast this time. Yeah, it's to our west. Uh, we do make it through a tunnel. This feels more northern island-ish. Uh, and that would put us maybe over here. By Otaru. Cattle. The mountains. What did that say? That didn't say anything in English. Alrighty. Uh, which, why do I expect it to be in English? I'm not too sure. We do end up kind of in the middle of nowhere. I don't know how we got here, to be honest. And we do have a little bit of broken coverage. Uh, but we're looking for some luck at this point, because we didn't find a phone number. We do have other islands out that way. I feel like maybe over here more. Oh, way wrong. Uh, it ends up being South Japan. RC does get a better score off. We That's where we screwed up. We didn't find a phone number, though. We didn't find a phone number. No trespassing or loitering. Port Largo. I don't know where Port Largo is, but that says Florida statue, so we're in Florida. Uh, so Florida, with water to our south, this could be the Keys. We need to find Port Largo. Uh, let's just check the Keys real quick. I don't think it's Key West, but we got to check anyway. Port Largo. Cow Key. I don't know. I don't. I really don't. I don't know too much about Florida when it comes to the keys, the names of the keys, or anything like that. Uh, I don't know where Port Largo is, but I do know because it says Florida, it's got to be Florida. We could be. Let's see. If we look out south, I don't really see anything out there. Port, but that's membership. Okay, so that doesn't actually fucking matter. Because uh, that's the name of the com country club, community club. The fact that there's a lot of water to our south. And it feels kind of tropical. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up over here on a key. Maybe Sombrero Beach? Not too sure. Uh, I don't think it's Key West. Uh, and it does end up being one of the keys. It just ends up being the Key Largo. Which, Port Largo, Key Largo makes sense. It does. And that's actually now called the Homeowner's Park. RC getting a really good score there. Uh, mm, kind of EU style plates. I think we've actually had this before. We have had this before, haven't we? I think we have. I think we perfect scored it when we were here. I'm pretty sure this is Belgium. I'm pretty sure we've had this, yeah. But we had we had plenty of time to, to figure it out when we had it. Uh, return to start. Waters to our north. Nelson. God damn it. I don't remember where it was. I know we could find the town name, but I don't think we have enough time. There's the dot B-E... Uh, fuck. I think we're literally like here, though. Where? What town was it? Uh, was it this? I don't remember. I know it's Belgium, though. It might have been this. Yeah, it's the Newport Bad. We're like right here. And me and RC, do you get perfect scores? And that's just because we've had this location before. Um, so I knew it was on the coast. I knew we would have recognized the name if we found it. We did. Uh, we recognize the road as well. Not bad. Uh, I do think RC is walking away with this one. We have water to our south. We have the coast. Is that all? Is that Albania? Maybe not. Or maybe it is. It might be. 
I think it's Albania. Fuck. Uh, we gotta find something else. We can't just rely on what could have been a picture of where we were. Hopefully, the language... I need more language than what was on that side. Right? There was just not enough there. I know for you guys, you would be able to recognize it immediately. Uh, I was not. What do we have? We have Jusu tea. And then we have Hapsalu, which is up here. I'm pretty sure. Where's Hapsalu? I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. I don't know it. Is it Albania? No. Here it is. So we're over here more. Uh, and it does end up being a little bit further south. And here's the the shape. So the shape was correct. Uh, what was our screw up? Our screw up was the second Japan. Our screw up was second Japan. That's not bad. The first Japan we did really well. The second Japan we were in the middle of nowhere and didn't find anything. 22,000 points? Where does that put us? Radusi's in first place. Roland's in ninth. We're in 16th. Simi's in 20th. What happened, Simi? First Japan and second Japan. Simi, go watch those videos, man. Scribble's in 33rd. Wolf Trekker's in 44th. Bentley Aaron's in 49th. Uh, Tins in 72nd. And 82 people have done it. Where's Alec? Is Alec not in this? Topotic's in 7th. Did I just miss Alec? I know he changed his name in this picture. So I might have just gone over him. Uh, but that is going to be where we call it. So overall, I think it was a very productive and successful episode. We're in the top 20. Hopefully we remain in the top 20. Uh, but that is going to be it. So thank you all so much for joining me. Uh, I did call my service provider again. And I yelled at them for dropping frames when we had 40 plus viewers on Twitch. Uh, we are currently at 202 on the country streak, and it will pick up again on Monday. Uh, but until then, guys, well, until tomorrow, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and bye-bye.